Hey everyone, my name is Daniel. In today's video, we'll take a look at Microsoft Forms, specifically when you use it as a standalone form service versus when you use it as Microsoft Create. Because underneath the hood, they are both Microsoft Forms. However, depending on which service you use, I actually came across five differences and it's important that you're aware of those as well. So let's take a look. But first, here's my intro video. So before we jump in, let me give a quick overview as to what Create is. Create is the AI service that comes along with Microsoft 365 Copilot. It gives you the flexibility to use AI to go and create videos, images, documentation, and yes, even utilize forms. So in this video, our focus is purely going to be Create in Microsoft Forms. So now that you have a good idea as to what it is, let's get started. So as I mentioned in the introduction, I actually came across five differences between the two services. And the best way for me to do the comparison is me opening up actually two windows side by side, where one I can show with Microsoft Forms and then the other one I can show Create. So let's take a look at Microsoft first and specifically, how do you get to the landing page? And when I say landing page, the actual home page or the home screen of each of these services. So let's start with Microsoft Forms on the left side. Over here, if I go and click on Apps, I will see these apps on the right and for forms, I have to actually click on all apps and right over here, I see Microsoft Forms. When I click on it, a whole new tab opens up and then I'm in the home page where I can actually go and do forms, quizzes and a whole bunch of things. So that's Microsoft Forms. Let's take a look at Microsoft Create. For Create on the left vertical navigation, I actually see Create. And when I click on it, on the right side, I see a bunch of tabs on the top. I see one to create, I see for create a forms, and I have a whole bunch of options. However, in my case, forms was automatically created. So when I selected right over here on this page, I see the option to go and start creating the forms. No new tab opened up. So that was the first difference I came across is how do we get to the home or the landing pages? The second difference is the free access. And believe it or not, Microsoft Forms is actually available as a free service. However, create is kind of, sort of not. And I know that's a little confusing, so let me show you by demo. Uh, I'm gonna actually log into one of my free accounts and I can prove that it's free. Uh, it's a completely separate sign-in. And when I get over here, you start to see all these messages such as, hey, go ahead and buy storage. Here's my limited storage. On the top right is telling me free trial. And I even see the diamond icon, which gives me a pop-up that, hey, these are all the services that are available to you. Now, my first utilization of this free access was purely for my OneDrive. However, when you go and click on this app launcher, I also call it as a waffle icon. When you select that, you see Microsoft Forms over here. When I go and click on it, another tab opens up. Again, this is the free service and I can go and create my new forms and also my new quiz. Now for the free services, there are some limitations. Like for example, you can only go ahead and have 400 of these forms or quizzes. Uh, keep in mind that if you have 50 of them already in your recycle bin, uh, then you can only go and make 350 more. There are limitations and if you're interested to learn about them, I've gone and put that link in the description below. Well, this is for Microsoft Forms. What about Create? And I said kind of, sort of, let's take a look at this, right? We'll come back over here on the app launcher and if I go and click on more apps, this is what I see. Now we have something called design already. Like there is this designer, all right? But I do not see the create option. And I know what some of you are saying, hey Daniel, what is this pencil one that you see? This create is a lot different than that create that we see over here. You see that create, completely different. This one is from the free access. And if I go and click on it, it only shows me this option. And just to even verify, say if I click on forms, it does open up another tab, but you see the URL and the design, that is it. This does not give you the full create experience that we see as a licensed user. So this was the second big feature because, Mac so this was the second big feature I noticed. Microsoft Forms with a little limitation is still available for free cost. However, the Microsoft Create, which is part of the 365 Copilot, purely requires an additional license. Third difference is the ability to go ahead and create surveys and forms with Copilot. And let me show you that. Right on the right, which is create, 
over here, I actually see these options. And let me go and minimize this a little bit. You can see that I have eight different surveys and forms. And when I hover over it, it actually goes and gives me this prompt. This prompt is the one that I can go and use and manipulate that a little bit. Now, if I scroll down, I still see the templates over here on the create side. And those templates are only the options available on Microsoft Forms. Microsoft Forms does not have the same flexibility. So let's double click a little bit on the surveys and form side. Let me go and open this up over here. And right now you can see that there is this prompt that has come up. A lot of the text is already there, but it gives you the flexibility to go and adjust however you want. So let's take this as example. I have a create a monthly satisfaction survey about workplace culture is what it recommends, but you can go and tweet that. I can go and say anniversaries and also monthly birthdays and new employees, all right? I just go ahead and did that. If I want, I can go and click on edit prompt to take care of the whole thing, but this is the main Microsoft 365 Copilot prompt. Now I can go and click on create and it has this experience over here that is going and creating the forms. Now, while this is getting created, if I come on the left side to Microsoft Forms, it directly takes me over here and I have this full prompt, but I do not have the experience that I just showed you on the create side. I can go and say something similar over here and I can go and click on send or next and it starts to create the form, but it doesn't have that prompt functionality that we saw in create. In addition, the templates that are available over here on create those are also available on Microsoft Forms. All you have to do is click templates and then they show up on the left for you to go and select it. Important to note that the form that we built in Microsoft Create is also being saved in your Microsoft Forms. And I can prove that to you. Uh, if I just go and click on Microsoft Forms, it takes me over here and you see this one, the one on the left, that's the one that we created using Microsoft Create. This one over here is the one that was actually created with Microsoft Forms. Both of them get saved in your own Microsoft Forms. So this was the third big difference. Prompt functionality, not available on Microsoft Forms, but yes, you have eight of those in Create. Fourth difference is quiz. In Microsoft Forms, you have the option to go and create a quiz. However, using Create, all we can do is create a form and some kind of survey, but I am not seeing the option to go and actually create a real quiz. And in case you're not aware, the quiz actually came from the education side. The art tenants were the first ones to actually have even the quiz functionality, and then it released to everybody else. So the education departments are the one which are the main reasons why quiz happen. But let me demonstrate this to you. On the right on Microsoft Create, if I come and click over here, this is the prompt I'm gonna put in. I'm saying, create a general third grade math quiz. And I'll go and click on Create, and it starts by going ahead and generating the questions and the response. And for the same time, I'll come to the left side and I'll say new quiz. And here I'll put in the exact same prompt and I'm gonna go and click on create. So it goes and starts analyzing and creating the draft and everything. Now take a look at the side by side event that is happening. On the right, it has gone ahead and given me a good set of questions purely for a math quiz. But that is not really a quiz. Now on the left, which is the Microsoft Forms, you've got the correct answer score and you've got answer explanation. This is where you can go and explain exactly how that question should be answered with an explanation. On the right, it is not a quiz and therefore it doesn't have these two important features. And that's how I was able to prove that on the right side when we use create, it really doesn't create a quiz, it is still using a Microsoft Form. So as of right now, if you really need to create a quiz, especially if you're coming in from an education tenant, go to Microsoft Forms, select the quiz functionality, and then create quiz over there. That option is not available in Create. And the last feature, which is the fifth one, is Present. Present is the option that you do see in Microsoft Forms. However, that is not available in Create. The only thing I see in Create is this one, which looks like an eye. That's the preview one, but it is not the present. And if you don't know what the present is, let me show that to you. See over here on the left, this is the quiz that we created. And if I click on present, it gives me a real time view of all the answers that are coming in. What I can do is actually go and copy that link and I can even go and put that in my PowerPoint right over here. So real time, if I'm doing this as a presentation, I can see the answers come over here. This is pretty neat. 
this functionality is not available on the create side. And I don't even see the option over here for selecting. Click on settings. I don't see that option over here. And so that's the fifth one, which is the present feature is only available on the standard Microsoft Forms. It is not available on create. So let's quickly recap everything we learned. If you have a simple reason for a Microsoft Form or even a survey and you want to use a prompt, definitely go down the path of Microsoft Create because that is AI first. However, if you want to create an actual quiz, say for education reason, and even want to use the present feature to real time see the answers coming in, then do that from the Microsoft Form side because currently, as of right now, that's the place to go and build the quiz. But keep in mind, both of them are actually using Microsoft Forms as the fundamental platform. Each of them have their own ups and downs. So hopefully this video was useful to you. And as always, keep using Microsoft Forms. Hey, if you have a few seconds, can you click on that like button and even consider subscribing it? Because it's just two easy clicks for you, but boy, it makes a big difference for me. Also, if you don't mind, can you put in a comment below because that really boosts this video up to reach a higher audience. And once again, thank you for watching this video.